time rental scams have been around for decades and over the years the scammers have gotten much more sophisticated but if you have rental property there are ways that you can protect yourself real estate expert john adams joins us now with five ways that you can avoid being a victim hey john hi let's talk about the scam first what's the scam you know rental scams have been around since the first caveman decided he wanted a nicer <laughs> cave but um this one is is involves technology mm -hmm. and i call it the craigslist scam here's what's happening uh an owner will decide that they want to rent their house maybe for a couple of years um and they're going to come back to it they may own it free and clear or they may have a mortgage on it and they don't want to spend the money to work with a legitimate real estate professional so what they do is they just put it on craigslist well a scammer sees that mm -hmm. and goes and, and uh, signs up for it they go ahead and and get the property under lease they may even pay several months in advance to make the owner feel good sure and especially if the owner is leaving the country and owners always talk oh i'm going to mexico for two years right. with coca-cola and then i'm coming back well that's a really attractive scam situation the scammer signs a two-year lease pays several months in advance, waits for the owner to leave, move out, and then they turn around and sell the property. Hmm. Now, they can put a for sale sign out, but the neighbors might become suspicious. So what do they do? They list it on Craigslist, and they offer owner financing. Hmm. They're below market, they're at a very attractive interest rate, and all of a sudden somebody sees it that look is looking for a great deal and says wow i can buy this house for 20 percent less than it's worth with owner financing wow. yeah. here's the rub they want 30 percent down uh -huh. okay so on a two hundred thousand dollar house we're talking about sixty thousand mm -hmm. dollars who has sixty thousand dollars a lot of people somebody who just sold their house or somebody with retirement funds and they're saying this is a great deal they pay the sixty thousand dollars they go to a uh, uh, sort of a shyster closing mill and they think they bought the house this piece of paper this warranty deed right here <laughs> I can calmly take your house. Please don't. I won't. Okay. And fill it out and sign your name here and record it at the DeKalb or Fulton County Courthouse. And all of a sudden, it's my house. All right. So what can we do to avoid this? Jim? Well, you've got to be a nosy, nosy rent uh, landlord. And that involves these scammers don't ever want to be seen. They're going to try to do everything they can to not meet you in person. They mm -hmm. want to do this by telephone. They want to do it by email. And they'll probably be using cash because cash can't very well be traced. So my first tip is ask lots of questions and do it in person. Make sure that you see that person, get a picture of it. Second idea, once you have decided to accept a renter, I want you to go ahead and have a background check. Okay. Now, I use a, a website called My Smart Move. It's owned by TransUnion, but Equifax and Experian have the same type thing. Number three, don't accept cash. It's just not safe. Um, it, at the very least, require a personal check or better yet, a postal money order because that way, if they pay you with a postal money order, they've committed f a federal crime. Right. Uh, they don't want to do that. No, of course not. And then finally, and this is really, this, this will flush them out every time. If you're suspicious, if any red flags have gone up, say, my insurance company requires we get a fresh set of fingerprints. Could you meet me down at the Decatur Police Department? I'll pay for it. Uh, we're, we're just going to get your fingerprints here uh -huh. for the records. No, they will not want to do that because all of a sudden they've met the police. You've got a permanent record. Yeah. Those people are going to run. Right. And this, unfortunately, this scam works and it's happening right here in Atlanta, Georgia. So be careful. People try so hard to be dishonest. Got to stay a step ahead of them, right? $60,000 for a couple of days of work. Mm. All right. John, thanks a lot. And you stick around uh, for the next hour.